today we will talk about question and answers so let's move to the question and answers from the denado uh, what i have found basically regarding the data virtualization okay and the denado platform so yeah moving to our the first question what is our first question what is data virtualization data virtualization combines disparate data sources into a single virtual data layer that provides integrated data services to consuming application in real time and data virtualization creates a single virtual layer that connects disparate data sources provides unified access for consuming applications these applications will use the semantic components defined in the virtual layer and reuse them as needed okay in this way your application will be independent from the physical sources where the data is stored what do you mean by this uh, lines like uh, it uh, what the data virtualization basic is uh, like it will create a virtual layer between your data sources and your data consumers uh, and then uh, provide the, the, uh, the data through that layer okay so that your application or the consumers will not get uh, affected or will not get dizzy or complexity will be remain simple okay so in this way data virtualization work and data consumers can easily access the data okay uh, what is our next question is why is data virtualization a recommended approach for companies needing agile data integration so in the era of big data big data means which the data which is generated in a very big amount in a particular period of time like in a single minute million trillions of data will be generated okay that is the big data and the web and the cloud and exploding data volumes okay so this kind of data are two huge data which can be uh, implemented and the heterogeneity companies uh, simply cannot afford to warehouses okay like uh, different different companies like there were small companies large mid large companies were there in the market and they cannot afford to warehouses warehouses are too much expensive and they cannot afford to buy it okay so all the data they need to use okay dv leverages value from data of any type and in any data sources to expose normalized and integrated data services that are optimized for performance and agility without the need to create more replicated data sources what do you mean by this data virtualization is uh, leveraging a value of any data type like you can uh, create it from text or integer type or any other type and in data sources to expose normalize expose normal if you learned about some data base you have heard the term normalize means you can aggregate segregate the data into different different types and then integrate to provide that data service to the consumers okay and in a optimized and performed way so that will be too agile agile means to work in a different different to work in a different different uh, period of time to complete one single project without the need to create more replicated data source stores okay so how will this virtual data help it will Uh, create a single database which can be accessed by different different consumers of the same company or or different organization so that they can use the single database virtual database which is generated from the different different data sources okay now you get it moving to the next question why is dv cheaper and faster so it is the basic question so physically moving and storing data multiple times costs money and slows you down okay when changes are needed okay so uh, like if you have servers in, installed in your organization or a database is present at your physical space and if you want to migrate to some other place or uh, want to change some location like um, uh, from one location to different location it will be very hectic to move whole database servers without uh, damaging it okay so dv allows uh, for replication but only when it is net necessary okay so what do you mean by replication replication is replica means copying the data from one place to another place okay so in this way it is cheaper and faster now moving to the next question 
what projects or use cases are ideal for data virtualization any use case requiring access to disparate data real time information dynamic requirements and rapid deployment time are ideal for data virtualization okay agile bi reporting agile bi is business analytics or business intelligence reporting for data uh, for single view of customers like logical data services web and cloud integration or projects that can acquire data virtualization and which can replace or add value to traditional approaches okay these are well proven cases okay so in the current scenario many companies are migrating to clouds or you can say uh, they are moving to the clouds because of the these kind of uh, features and services provided by the clients okay after that moving to the next question does db support the integration of web data yes the web is inherently inherently only denoted db includes web automation like it, you can automate it to the web services and uh, by the semantic tools provided by the denodo platform which can easily and reliably extract web information or unstructured data and combine it with the enterprise data to produce immediate business value okay so you can just suppose if you are a employee of an organization and organization require uh, want some uh, anal analytics performed to the uh, uh, data which can be uh, which can be taken from the denodo data virtualization layer and directly represented to the uh, consumers on their web portals so in this way it is supporting integration and web data okay now moving to the next question how does db handle data quality requirements db data virtualization includes built-in tools for data matching transformation and rewriting enrichment based on apply on the fly rule sets extensible with third-party tools it can track source changes and data lineage lending confidence to use users okay suppose i am a developer of denodo de uh, suppose i am a denodo developer and i want to uh, i want to use a data source which whose data type is not defined so there is some inbuilt feature present in the data denodo platform which can help to you to identify which can easily identify the data type by matching it to the different different types of the data now moving to the next question what about dv performance okay data virtualization performance the best data virtualization platform apply performance optimization techniques like intelligent cache we have talked about the cache scheduler support and operation delegation cost and rule based optimization asynchronous and parallel execution and more to achieve scalable performance in the highly demanding projects okay so these are some uh, features which are offer uh, which ca which are offers by data virtualization to per perform it well and denodo supports all these features to give the confidence to the consumers and users okay now how is db different from data federation tools db goes far beyond query federation okay leading solutions like denodo provide read access write access to every type of data and sources okay advanced integrations metadata and security features okay in the security terms you can uh, like only the denodo users or only the platform users can access that data and then provide it to the consumers directly by providing it to the web services or directly providing the interface to the users okay so in this way they can use and after that uh overall this support delivery of virtual high performance and data services in schedule batch or cache and real time modes now moving to the next question how does data virtualization complement a data warehouse infrastructure db can be used for data warehouse extension migration prototyping and federation multiple data sources to create virtual data marts denodo db integrates with esbs messaging to deliver agile real time data service for soa implementation software or application implementations okay now moving to the next question what is the cost and roi of development data virtualization 
the typical data visualization projects pay back in less than six months and cost one third of the data replication methods for custom code solutions. Okay. So in the organization, if you want to uh, migrate the data from one source to another source, they will be a uh, that will be too costly and if you are doing with the Denodo data visualization it will become one third of that cost okay and the ROI commonly includes the significant significant reduction in hardware or software storage development and maintenance cost suppose you are you have developed the code and uh, run and dump the code into the production and now the maintenance of that code will be required suppose some new code change come and it, you have to apply it to the production and then so that cost will be also reduced by this then using the data virtualization technique okay now this is the end of our question and answers